All right, so this is a very uh, simple drill. The idea is just getting off center line. So we're gonna step to the side and cross our center line, but also wind our body so that it can release. The same way the penetrating palm, we're crossing the center, winding our body so we can step. We can do this to um, get past something that's coming towards our center mass. So he's just using a stick here, coming towards my center mass. So if I don't do anything, it's just gonna hit me right this side. Right. So if it comes towards me again, I can step to the side, but I want to be, um, I'm getting offline here. Here, stand right there. I'm getting offline with my step, but I'm also tracking it past me and I'm winding my body. So I come again. So here I'm wound up and I can, I can enter in from there, but the basic body method is there. Just the idea of Bagua is that we're getting off to the side and getting off the center line. So we want to get off center line in a way where we're set up to advance and attack. Whatever that happens to be here. And so when we're doing um, a solo practice, we can practice just getting off the center line and winding our body in order to practice whatever force is coming at us, getting out of the way, directing it, but also being wound up to drive forward. So we're going to take this uh, motion that we're just doing here, uh, crossing the center line, coiling our body, and then releasing, and we're just going to do it with a partner uh, in a very slow, controlled way, but just getting the idea of getting to the outside. Um, so if he goes the center mass and hits me, comes right to the center. So if I can step to the side to avoid getting hit, that's what I want. And so the first most important thing is that I'm stepping and just getting out to the side. Then I can start to um, kind of gather his force. And what I don't want to do, I don't want to like try to get it out of the way because to his nervous system, he's like, now, you know, now I'm in a fight. But I'd rather have him um, to merge with his force so he doesn't necessarily react. So if he comes over, I might gather this in. Here, do it slow. Gather this in and let him continue through. And now he's fully committed, but I'm wound up in, as far as going for the next thing. So, just the idea of using the stepping and body method to have him gather. Go ahead, do the other one. Let's see the other one. The other thing too is that there's a bit of a roll that I'm doing here that I'm, I'm basically tracking his force past me. Again, I'm not bisecting it. I'm simply gathering and rolling it, which reinforces his motion. So if I want to use that for my advantage, I can. I mean, you can start to get into it. But going back to the penetrating palm is simply gathering in to release. Gather in 